Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone, welcome to Pokemon Blue, the start of the huge outgoing and infinity Pokemon marathon. It's only I wanted to do for a while, and I wonder how fast this will go. Probably, I can't be, I can't do something like this like every week or like every two weeks. It'll just be maybe three times in one week, and then nothing the next week. It really depends on my school schedule, but this is the plan. Bunch of um, main game Pokemon, like, out of the, if there's two, well, Pokemon are always released in sets of two, and things like red and blue, or gold and silver, of those I do one, I also play the, the extra one, like, something like yellow, or crystal, or emerald, I do remakes like fire, red, leaf, green, do one of those, play as much as I can, like, DS and onwards, I'm not sure how I'll do it yet, because you can't really emulate it that well, but at least up to and including third generation, this is gonna be awesome. If you do it all on stream, it's gonna end up on YouTube later, in parts edited, like some parts may be cut out, some parts may be sped up, and it'll be shorter than, let's say, a three hour stream is gonna be cut out, cut into, let's say, six, seven, eight episodes or something like that. Alright. Let's have some fun then. Pokemon Blue. Adventure is gonna start. We're gonna start it with. The thing that a lot of us started with, the first generation. Options, fast, on, shift, yes. Let's go. So you'll notice that the layout, the overlay is German. That's because this layout um, was made by someone from Germany. I'm not that great at layout making. I saw this one, thought it was amazing, asked that person if I could use it, and they very kindly agreed the link that they originally provided didn't work out and they were just able to give me a new one that didn't work out. They were very helpful, so thank you very, very much. What will our name be? Well, I guess for this one we just have to call ourselves out, okay, don't we? Probably for later games, I'll switch it around. I'll play as a female character a couple times, especially in games where you can be male or female. Then maybe let's say let's say I had a ruby and I'm male, then an emerald, I might be female, something like that. Who is my rival? Hadn't thought about that. It doesn't fit, does it? Well, because keys around doesn't fit. I guess it's just keys. Arrival is keys around. That's an echo sound if I could remember. The extra bleeps. Alright, I'm just gonna play through the entire game. I have my team planned out. I might catch some extra things, do some extra things here and there, but I do have my final team planned out in terms of Pokemon and moves. Um, I'm going to show you some tricks, and talk about maybe some speedrun stuff that I happen to know, although I'm not gonna speedrun this game. This, these are all going to be casual playthroughs. For a good portion of my team members, I'll use Pokemon that I don't normally use, including in this one. Although sometimes I might use Pokemon that I do use uh, regularly. Sometimes I might not even use my starter. So will I use the starter in this one? You'll have to find out. Uh, I'm going to show you some hidden items, some other cool tidbits and information. Maybe talk about some glitches, maybe even show off some glitches. I definitely will show off some glitches in Pokemon Blue, because there's a couple of them. I do want to show. Alright, we can choose the first Pokemon. Will we choose the Lizard Pokemon Charmander? I still don't understand why Bulbasaur isn't the first one. Why is it not Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, like in the order of the Pokedex? We choose Squirtle. But do we go with Bulbasaur? The hardest choice ever. Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. Well, Professor Oak, we're starting our adventure with Squirtle. So we will be nicknaming all of our Pokemon 
The only one I've decided on so far is Squirtle. Squirtle will be called Koopa after the Koopa Troopa from the Mario series. But I guess once he's Blastoise, he looks more like Bowser, and Bowser's Japanese name is Koopa, so that works as well. Sup. My Pokemon looks a lot stronger. What? Ever. Ah, these nostalgic tunes. Obviously different with, well, obviously, it is different. If you don't know all the mechanics of Gen 1, then you might not know. But critical hits definitely work differently in Generation 1 compared to later games. And if they just keep doing 3 damage and I don't miss... Well, if we lose the fight, then we just lose the fight. This is not a required one to win. Okay, now crit. Or just keep growling, I don't mind. He's, that just gives me more attacks. Keep growling. I'm okay. As long as I don't crit their tackle, I get two more hits in. So this is good. If I just hit my next two tackles... Right? Nice! Koopa wins the first fight! Oh, you picked the wrong Pokemon. You just... You're just not good at battling, bro. Let's see if you can get some better Pokemon later. We have a Squirtle. So I better um, add him to the overlay. There we go. <laughs> nice looking Squirtle on the team using the original Kensugi Mori art from Red and Blue. Because there are red and green ones as well. Well, considering we're playing the English version, I decided to go the red and blue ones. La 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 la. Pick up a potion from this guy. Actually, get healing items early game, unlike in uh, the Pokemon Sunky Red randomizers that I've done recently. I don't know exactly when this episode will go up, if it'll be, let's say, within the week of it I'm being up or it taking much longer, because I, at the moment of doing this, it's um, the 21st of April 2019, I also haven't started editing or uploading anything of the Pokemon Coliseum blind let's play that I did last summer. Alright, I'm just gonna beat this PG. I want to get up to seven, maybe eight. I do want to fight the other rival battle, so I think I might even go to nine. Come on. I was about to say Pidgey uh, gets stabbed on Gus because he's normal type, but Pidgey's also flying, and late in late games, Gus is flying so that. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Viridian City. Well, we're gonna get Pokeballs, no, we're not. Because we first have to get Oak's Parcel and go back to the Professor. So in Pokemon Leaf Green, when I get to this same area, I really hope that I don't encounter a shiny, because that's happened to me once before. I think even on my original playthrough of Leaf Green, I encountered a shiny Rattata on the way to Viridian City the first time. Which means I didn't have any Pokeballs. I couldn't do anything, I just KO'd him for the experience. 
but that was seriously frustrating that I had no way to even catch it. Can I even beat this Pidgey? Pidgey only knows Gust. I might have to potion. On a wild Pokemon. Uh, nope, not gonna do it. Taking the risk. Didn't save. That was risky. Why are we risking things this early? Because we can. Mom! Mom! Heal my Pokemon, please. So helpful, moms. They can heal your Pokemon. Professor Rook, I have something for you. <laughs> now, something I don't remember is... Well, we didn't have the Pokedex before, so is... Our Bulbasaur and Pidgey on our Pokedex already, because we have seen it, but we that wasn't when we had our Pokedex. And if, if we skip the optional fight in which you'll have Bulbasaur again, then the next rival fight will be later on when his Pokemon will be evolved. Also, I'm going to assume that most of you know how these Pokemon games work. Some of you might not, some of you might not just re not remember anything, so... The... I... The idea I'm going into this with is I'm going to consider a lot of things spoilers. Even though I definitely know a lot about the Pokemon games, especially the earlier games which I remember a lot about. I'm not going to say, yeah, the fourth rifle battle he'll have this and this Pokemon and that's when he'll evolve that one or he'll catch this one. I'm not going to say it until we get to that battle. And we actually see that thing that he has. So that those that don't remember, or those that just don't want to try to not remember, those that have never known, will... Um, can have that extra bit of a surprise, which can be an extra bit of enjoyment. I personally have that. When I um, play games again, I want to... Like, everything that I might have forgotten from the first playthrough, I don't want to remember, because then the finding it out a second time that realization like oh this is cool if you don't know it beforehand it's more enjoyable for me and I want to express that for my viewers both when they're watching live on the stream or if you're watching on YouTube later on rising one hello I remember you you I think you followed like yesterday or two days ago yesterday it must have been during the sunky red race hello you are just in time. I have just started the Alka 193 Pokemon Let's Play Marathon, Mega Marathon. I haven't really come up with a great name, I think it's just Alka, Alka's big Pokemon Let's Play Marathon or something like that. Starting off with the old classic, Pokey Blue. Wait, did I go to level 8? I have not gone to level 8. I want to go to at least level 8. And I want to do the rival fight. Especially in the early games, I feel like I know a lot about hidden items, although thanks to the Cinco Bingo races I've done on Crystal, I feel like I've learned a lot m more uh, hidden item locations in that. So, well, then I might still miss them. I'm not going to look them up where every hidden item is. However, from what I, do, what I do know, I do intend to show, and if anyone in the live stream chat knows about a location that I missed, that I went past, and way went past, then let me know. I'm, I might go back to it. Like, there's a hidden item pretty close by where I am now, but I'm purposely not going to it yet. I'm gonna get it later. But if I'm way past and you know, oh yeah, there was something there, then let me know. And I'm gonna pick it up, because I do... I guess this is sort of a walkthrough, because I do intend to show you and teach you a lot about this game, its mechanics and things like that all the way through. I'm not going to explain all the critical hit things, because I know that with one of my members that I have planned for this team, I will have uh, critical hits, and its mechanics will be very important. Especially on that Pokemon. So you'll see what I mean when we get to it. Going 
going for level 9. Actually, no, I'll just do this fight. The tackle's 35, bubble's 20 in this gen. Throw in some bubbles. Nidoran's a cool Pokemon, but we won't be using Nidoran on our team. Something else that I like after having done, like, races a lot recently, whether it's... Sunky Red, or Synchro Bingo for uh, well, which is Crystal, or the Random Emeralds. It's a race, therefore you want to be speedy, therefore you turn the animations off. Now we have animations on. So, I guess I get to re-find out about some of the animations, which will be pretty cool. And there's some pretty cool animations, some of the animations that I guess I don't really like. But, what's your plan on the team? What you think of getting? I am not telling you. Um, because as I think I was explaining just as you came in about some things being a surprise as to what happens in the game, it's the same about my team. I don't want to say anything about what I have planned for my team, I just want it to be a surprise. Uh, once I catch a Pokemon, let's say I would have wanted to use this Nidoran female, um, the moment I catch it, I, um, I will let you know this is going to be on the team. If I catch something, if I nickname something, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll be on the team. It doesn't necessarily mean it'll be on the team forever. I might just be using it temporarily, and but most likely, those temporary things are planned as well. And I have a team planned out for a few of the Let's Plays already. I'm doing this. Um, yellow, I think I have yellow figured out completely. Yeah, yellow I have figured out completely. Not sure if I decided on gold or silver. I think gold, but I'm not entirely sure. Pretty sure I have that figured out. Crystal, I haven't. I just know two of the Pokemon that I want to use. Whichever one of gold and silver there is, um, I know I have that one figured out. Um, leaf green. I think I decided on leaf green over fire red. Whichever one that whichever one that was, I have that that team uh, figured out as well. And ruby is a special case because I did once do a ruby playthrough on this channel, got to like episode 21 or 22, when my, um, but that was when my camera got busted. That was like seven years ago or something, or s seven, eight years ago. And I never finished that, so I'm actually thinking of doing that on my Game Boy Advance SP and just recording it the old-fashioned way, which will be lower quality. But I want to finish that Let's Play, and I do, I had that entire team planned out. So I might just use that. Um, am I going to pick you on the stats? No. Um, first two generations, like the IVs and stuff, aren't really that clear. They they work differently with with it being DV instead of IVs. But um, no, I'm not gonna be picky. Natures starting in Gen three, maybe I guess if it's a really horrific one that I might try and catch a second Pokemon. But even then, it's not like I'm not gonna. Let's say I, there's a physical Pokemon that I want to use. I'm not gonna wait until I have an animate nature. Maybe if it's something that's really physical and needs to do a lot of physical hits, then I'll accept any nature except an attack lowering one. Like, it doesn't have to increase it, as long as it doesn't lower it. Oh, Santa's like, I don't have any Pokemon to switch to. That's an unfortunate thing. I didn't think about that. I might have to catch a second Pokemon just for that. This is gonna take forever if they keep using Santa. I had not considered this. Why are they using sand attack all the time? Yeah, okay, so we're resetting. I'm, I'm not even going to bother doing this. Also, I only have the Squirtle sprite. Well, I have a good amount of sprites prepared for the things that I've planned for my team. But I hadn't planned catching something here just to help with this fight and the annoying sand attack. Like, we could just hit a lot, we could just, um... You know what, if I want to catch Pokemon, I might be useful to first buy some Pokeballs. 
Pretty sure I haven't bought Pokeballs. I haven't bought Pokeballs. I no, I have potions. Let's go buy some Pokeballs. Yeah. So, I guess I get to... Find... Artwork. Pretty sure I remember where I got all the artwork from. There's a Bulbapedia page that listed all the Kensuke Mori art. So should be good with that. Alright, let's go. 10 Pokeballs. Two antidotes. Considering I will be in the bug catching, uh, bug catching. That's second gen. The fighting the bug catchers in um, the Viridian Forest pretty soon. <laughs> Am I going to abuse any glitches? Um, I intend to show off some glitches, like this. Um, the two that come to mind for this game at the moment are the Missing No Glitch, uh, which I know is the Missing No Glitch, I think, officially, like, unofficially, because it's a fan term, um, it's called the Duplication Glitch, I just know it as the Missing No Glitch. Um, I probably will show that off, not sure if it will work in the simulator, but I'm going to try it, and there's a certain other glitch, um, that I will try as well, I also want to show off the Mew Truck. Yes, good. Didn't weaken me. So that I can go into the next fight with full health, I don't have to go back and heal. We caught an Indian female, not a team member. But we caught it, so I guess we have to add it. Ooh, wait, Pokedex. I, I guess I'll do this for all of them. Nidoran, female, the poison pin Pokemon. Although small, it's venomous barbs. Render this Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. I do want to give a nickname to it. I'm gonna call you... Uh, 